Whoa, it has been a while. What's well, been a while? It's been a while. Yo, it's your boy Fornatron here, and today we are gonna take your look from trash to smash. Check it out. What's up everybody? It has been a hot minute since I've made a video. Uh, if you haven't seen already, I have kind of made a transition to Twitch where I stream semi-regularly and we have a lot of fun there. And one thing that I've noticed with a lot of my friends that are on Twitch um, and some people that I don't know and even on their Twitter is that they got these janky ass like profile pictures and they just like they could look a little bit more a little bit more profesh and that's what we're here to do today so today we're gonna be using a program that's free for everybody it's called GIMP uh, I don't know what it stands for it's like graphical anyway it's kind of like your basic Photoshop type esque application um, it is available for PC and Mac so anyone can get this. You don't have to have a Photoshop subscription uh, to do this today. Uh, I'm gonna be doing it on GIMP for that exact reason. So anybody can do this. And I'm gonna show you how to make a simple profile picture. Uh, so instead of this, you get this. So let's get going. Okay, yo, so this is GIMP. So it kind of looks like Photoshop in a way, but it's a little bit janky, but hey, it's free. By the way, the link is in the description uh, for how to download GIMP, um, so I'll put that in there. So you're gonna wanna start off with a basic project. So I've got an 800 by 800, uh, just blank white project here, and that's gonna be your base layer. So what you're gonna do is once you get your base layer, you're gonna find a photo of you, and here's me looking for a photo of me. Try to get a photo of you like against like a plain background, and try to get like your shoulders and your head in the shot. Uh, and then you just like drag and drop it into uh, the project there. So you see I clicked on the resize tool and then when you click on the photo here, you can resize the photo. Um, so I'm just changing it so it's about as big as I can get it to fit within the 800 by 800 frame and then just kind of center it in the middle there. So just get it all nice and centered so it looks good there. And then you wanna create a new layer. So you can call the layer whatever you want. I'm kind of like, having troubles deciding what to call it. So you just call it main or just like layer one, whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. So you wanna make a layer on top of the photo that you dragged into your project. And this is where we're gonna kind of trace our photo here. So we're gonna use the little dots tool. So that's that guy there. And then we can click and make a bunch of points. So what we're gonna do is zoom into the photo as much as you want, and then just start making these points. So you just click, 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 and then just like you're tracing the edge of the photo. So I'm gonna speed this up a little bit here. And you can make this as detailed as you want or as whatever, but like the more time you put into it, the better it'll look. So you can just zoom in, take your time, and then just get as close to the edge as you possibly can. So I've got like messy hair going on, so it's a little bit hard to trace around. So I just kind of like chopped out all the like the messy strands a bit, cause you can just draw those in later. But yeah. So just all the little dots and just try to trace the outline of your photo. So see, I did that. And then you just click on the fill option here, like I do here. Just click fill and choose solid color, hit okay. Boom, you just got an outline of yourself right there and you've got like this shape that is your like kind of silhouette. Uh, so now what I do is I kind of like copy the, the color of my skin. So I go to the other layer and then I use the ink dot, dot whatever <laughs> to copy the color and then I get my shade of skin and then I just use the paint bucket tool to paint that uh, shape and then so that's all that that's the hardest part right there and then you can just keep duplicating the same layer and you can make one that's the color of your shirt one that's your skin color and one that's like the color of your hair and then all you do is you just use uh, the ink dot tool to copy the color of whatever you're trying to copy. So like, see, I just got the black from my shirt or you could do, use it like on your hair to get like kind of close to the color of hair that you have, whatever. And then you just make these different layers. And then this is the way that I do it. I make separate layers and then I just use the erase tool to erase out the parts that I don't need. So for instance, 
with the layer that I duplicated and then I made it black like my shirt, I go in later and I erase uh, the black part of my face uh, so the pink layer will show through. So see, I'm copying the color of my hair here. And you literally, like this is all it takes is you just go and then boom, I just color it like that. And you got these different layers. So I've got like my shirt, my skin color and my hair color. And I like all I have to do now is change the opacity of the layer. That's what I'm doing here. So you just change the opacity to 60 or something, whatever, so you could see the picture behind it. And then you use the eraser tool. And then just adjust the eraser tool to whatever size you want. Like when you're just doing like big chunks, like my head, uh, I make the eraser really big. And then when you get closer to the neck and stuff, that's when you'd want to shrink up the, uh, the eraser a little bit. So see, I'm just like big chunks because it doesn't really matter. I don't have to be like, like surgical with it. Like I just have to get the base of my head here. And then when I start getting close to my neck there, you can still do big chunks, but then you can just adjust the size of the eraser uh, to be a little bit smaller. And then you could zoom in like I'm doing right now. And then you could just get really in tight to the lines. And then that way it looks nice and sharp, like nice and like perfect. And like I'm doing a quick job at this, like honestly, like if you just spend a little bit of time, you can make it look really, really good. It just depends on how much time you're wanting to put into it. So... See, I'm making, I'm making the layer a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, so I can see how much of the edge I still need to do. And then here I'm like, okay, the eraser tool is a little bit too big. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And then that would be a little bit tighter around the neck. See, and I'm just like shaving off the little bits there. And another thing that you can do to help out, like, cause I'm like, it's like black on black. So it's a little hard to see, like if I'm doing it right, is you can zoom back out or get like the whole picture in frame. And then that's what I'm doing right now. And then you can uh, take the visibility of the original picture layer and then take that off as well. And then that way you can see like if there's any black spots left. So that's what I'm doing here. So you just flip between like turning layers off and on to kind of like gauge like how much more you got to paint in or how much more you got to erase out. And you literally just redo those steps over and over and over again. And then that's how you can make your little avatar. So this was just a quick one that I made for you here. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to one that I put a little bit of time into and I've got the whole thing done. So this is like what it would end up looking like at the end. So you just give yourself a gradient photo or a gradient background at the end and kind of give it that good contrast. Um, a trick that I used as well, um, here's me just saving it. Uh, a trick that I used as well is you can actually just go on Google and look up colors that go well with whatever color your shirt is. So this is what that's gonna look like. So I'm wearing a black shirt and I just like picked the color of my skin and then I said, what colors go good with that? And then that's why I picked the purple kind of thing. Um, do the same thing. So if you're wearing a blue shirt, green shirt, red shirt, whatever, kind of find colors that match with that. And then that'll give you like a, a nice, sharp looking, contrasting photo. All right, you jabronis out there in the phoneverse. I hope you found that super helpful. Uh, if you haven't already, please come by and check me out on Twitch. Uh, I'm at twitch.tv for slash Jimmy Fornatron. So give me a follow if you can. And then let's get wrecked on some brutal games together. Uh, if you haven't already, can you just do me a favor and yourselves a brutal day? Peace.